Oh. All right, good improvised weapon. Uh, make sure you have a Phillips head screwdriver for this. We are gonna talk about setting up the IWS and in the waistband system for the 365 holster. Our 365 holster fits the SAS, the regular 365, all the way to the 365 XL. So the main thing is that our holster adapts and we're gonna show you how to set it up. We're gonna show you the different ride heights and everything that it has that it comes with and all of the different options, so stay tuned. All right, guys, what is up? We're gonna go over the setup for the 365 holster or just the holster in general for the Adaptive X, the IWS, and the IWB. When you buy the kit, this is what you're gonna get. You are gonna get the setup for the IWB. You can buy the IWS tab kit separately on our website at crusheverything.com. This 365 holster specifically fits both the SAS, the original 365, and the 365 XL. This is the setup in the IWB configuration, and you can see that this goes in. This is the original version. So we have some good adaptability here and some great retention with this adjustable retention. So as we look at what's in our kit, first and foremost, before we get ready to get into the setup, I want to make sure that we always follow our safety rules. And first and foremost, situational awareness needs to come up. We're working with a life-saving and taking device. So I wanna make sure you guys increase that situational awareness. Know what's going on around you, double check your gear, and make sure that everything is clear and safe. So the first thing we're gonna do, check our chamber, check our source, remove a magazine or anything that's in the magazine. Make sure you get a good visual inspection down that chamber, okay? My buddy is gonna check it, my cameraman. And I'm also gonna check this other one. Clear and safe, I visually inspected it. Now that we're good to go, we can begin our setup. So let's take a look at what's in the bag. The holster is gonna come in the bag. This is the holster with nothing on it. This is the IWS setup and this is the IWB setup. We are gonna set it up today for the IWB configuration. This is the setup that you can carry in your board shorts, yoga pants, whatever that you have right now, this will go on. The zero clips will bite down on that configuration. I guarantee that you guys will have 100% retention. If you want to step up your game even further, then I would start looking into the IWS. For guys out there that are serious about concealability, serious about retention, once you put this in the waistband, this thing is not going anywhere, not to mention you have a completely reduced signature with no clips hanging on the outside of your pants, yoga pants, doesn't matter. You can see very quickly that this is how the setup goes. You have the tab system, it enters here and goes in seamlessly. So you have articulation and retention. All right, I want you guys to take everything outside of the bag. So we've got our holster here and you guys are gonna get a bag that looks like this. I want you guys to take that bag out and we're gonna start looking at what's in here. Okay, we've got two clips, we've got two wings and we have four longer post screws and we have four shorter post screws. I'm gonna show you guys what those are for here in a second as we start setting this up. There's a lot of different configurations I can do with this. I can go dual wings on each side to create different ride heights. I can change the angle of the clips. I can change the depth of the clips depending on my ride height. One of the most common configurations that I like to run and I always recommend to people is actually doubling these wings up. And what that's gonna do is I'm gonna put the wings on the back side so I actually create a little bit of rigidity back here and a little bit of a wing effect to pull the pistol grip into my body. That's why I like doubling this up back here and then I put one clip back here. That's my starting point. I want you guys to get there first and kind of see and judge what you need from there. If we need more retention, then we can always add this secondary clip to the front and one of the differences in the clip you guys are gonna see is that you have a 22.5 angle and you have a straight clip. The 22.5 is gonna go towards the back for the same reason I was talking about this wing, is it's gonna help create positive pressure when your belt and your pants pull that pistol grip into your body to help reduce your signature. Now, we're gonna add these wings and then we're gonna put this clip on the wing itself. That's our starting point. 
Anytime that we're looking at mounting a wing or a clip to the holster, we need to use the longer posts. Okay, so I'm gonna grab two posts here to start my setup. And for this configuration, because I'm doubling up the wings, I'm actually gonna remove the washers. I don't need those for this setup. There's a lot of adaptability here with configuration. And what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna show you a couple of different options at the end of the video, but just to get us started, I want you to see what this setup looks like. So make sure you guys have a Phillips head screwdriver. If you don't, go ahead and grab that because this is pretty much the only thing you're gonna need for this entire video and setup. Once I'm in this configuration and I have my wings lined up, the holes are all configured properly, I'm gonna take my two longer posts, I'm gonna add those to the back, and you can see that they're almost flush at this point, and I'm gonna hold positive pressure with two fingers towards the back. Then I'm gonna take my wings and I'm gonna line them up with the posts. I'm gonna take one screw first, you can add both of them if you want. I like to get one set so I can take hands off. So one screw, I'm gonna find the threads. I'm gonna go a couple of turns and then I'm gonna grab my second screw. Then I'm gonna get those about hand tight because I'm gonna tighten everything up again at the end. You know, you see these move around, uh, the angle, they can go in and out a little bit. I'm gonna go in and then I'm gonna start just adding a little bit of pressure about hand tight. So I've got some security there. Hand tight one more time. Now, you can see from the mounting positions, right, it's nice and clean here, and this is gonna add that good positive pressure. Now we need to add a clip to it. This is gonna be our primary retention to our board shorts, yoga pants, jeans, whatever you guys are wearing. Now, if I look at the depth, right, where I screw this into, you don't have many options here with the shorty on the actual reverse mount. But if I look on my wing, it allows me to actually change the depth and the ride height and a little bit of the angle here if I wanna change where I'm mounting. So you can see that you can change the angle, you can change the positioning. I typically like to keep it right about here because if you look as far as this being equal, this would be about equal to where it's at right now as, as far as ride depth. I like to get it a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna go up to this top one, and I'm gonna get about another inch of depth, which allows the holster grip to kind of barely, uh, the pistol grip to barely stick out. So I'm gonna shoot for this portion. Now, when I get ready to do this, I do use the washers, but this is gonna be with the shorter posts. So you guys can go ahead and prep your shorter posts. I only need two. All right, so now that we got the wings installed and the posts in, now we're set up to put our 22.5 clip towards the rear. As we start playing with this, we can kind of adjust the ride height and depth depending on where we want our pistol grip. So if you look at your pant line, if, I, if my pistol grip is lower, I've got a little bit of grip to grab onto, but it's gonna conceal a little bit better. If I raise it up to this position, then I'm gonna have more grip to grab onto, but it's gonna come out of my pants just a little bit more. Something to be aware of, everybody's gonna be different. So when I'm in this position, I'm gonna grab my post and my washer. These are gonna go towards the back and you need this separation in order to line the holes up properly. So I'm gonna take my first post and washer. I'm gonna place this here. This is about where I like to mount it. On the second one in, take my screw, and I'm just gonna go a couple of turns until it grabs on. I still want a little bit of play here so I can add this to the back. Now, this is where it's gonna take a little bit of muscle because you guys are gonna have to push in on this to get the screw to line up. You may even need to loosen this a little bit. Not that much. So once you get this lined up in the back, this is where we're gonna to need to use a little bit of our muscle to push that in so to make sure that these align. Now, I'm gonna push up on that. Yep. So I'm gonna lift up on the clip, make sure I give myself enough space. 
And I'm just gonna push that washer so they crunch down just enough so I can grab the threads. This is probably the most difficult part of the setup just to make sure these two washers align. And then once I grab one of those threads, I should be good to go. Now you're gonna see that this is gonna wanna move around all over the place, which is why we need to tighten it down. I like to cant my clip out just a little bit and I like to have this straight. So flush with the bottom of the holster, have this canted out a little bit. That's about my perfect setup, but you guys are gonna have to see what works for you. Now I'm just gonna start tightening everything down, starting with the wings. If you guys need to, you can grab a flathead screwdriver to anchor the other side and then start cranking. We really wanna tighten these down. It's not even really bad to use some blue Loctite on these if you don't want these things to come loose on you. Now, once these are in position, I'm gonna anchor the back of those two with my fingers and I'm just gonna start working those washers. And they'll start crunching down on that washer to really start sandwiching in there and lock it in nice and tight. I would go as much as you possibly can on these because it's gonna allow you to sandwich not only the wings, the clip, and the washers in the back. So go as hand tight as you possibly can go so that there's no wiggle room in the clip. Then you have a pretty solid setup at this point, which now I can mount this into just about anything. There's gonna be a couple things that happen here. The one single point on your pants or whatever you're carrying is gonna allow this to kind of rock forward a little bit, but it will grab. Even if you go to draw, this may come out if you have some really loose fitting shorts, but this still should anchor and bite down on whatever you're wearing and still allow the gun to come out if the retention isn't too high. Remember, this is your retention screw. So as I go to test fit, okay, this, is, this already feels pretty good, but it's brand new, so it may break in just a little bit. You guys have some really, really tough stuff here. This is a Bolteron material, which is gonna last a long time and have really high heat resistance, which is great for training, hot weather. Uh, but now I wanna get the feel down. So I like a little bit more retention than that. So all I'm gonna do is come in here and give this a quarter turn. I can already feel it changing the dynamic. Now I'm gonna give it another quarter turn and then that feels really good right there. So I feel pretty good. Now the next step for me would be to set this up, get it in my waistband, and do a couple of test draws. Remember, you want some decent retention on this, but if it's flying out of your pants every time, then you need to see what the realistic pressure is gonna be. I could, I could crank this thing all the way down so it doesn't come out. Now, if I'm anchored properly in IWS, I don't need to worry about it at all. If I have dual retention, then I really don't need to worry about it either. It's this single retention with loose fitting clothing. Any, any holster that you have really is gonna end up doing that. It's gonna wanna flop out of the material. And I'll show you guys a couple of examples of that as well. Your setup is pretty much complete. You could run out the door like this right now, have a pretty secure, secure retention. This clip and wing setup is gonna allow this to push into your side a little bit to help reduce this profile. And now we could go through and start thinking about what the other setup looks like. Here's a holster that I did with a clip on the front. And that's just gonna give it some extra retention on the front. And in order to get the ride height very similar, I had to keep that level down and I ended up only being able to use one screw. It's the same thing with this one. So if I wanna come in here and utilize both, you can see that if I put that on this, the angle of my carry is gonna change because this is the straight line. If this is where my jeans or my yoga pants were, that's the straight line that it's on. So it's gonna rock the gun forward a little bit. Not that that's a bad thing. Some guys might want that. Or if you want it straight up and down, you need to make sure that you're aware of where your ride hit is. That's at which point I might need to go to the second bump down. All right, and now if we mount here again, remember this is where we have to utilize the longer posts, which we have two more left of. And again, if I want this extra grab and this extra retention, I can come in here 
and start making that happen. I can probably do this with just my fingers. I don't have as much to fight against. And then this last post I'm gonna put in here for you guys. Now I can utilize the washers in front to add a little bit more grab, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit just to show you the positioning. And now you can see I've got a little bit of play in here, not much on the rotational, but that's about what you're gonna end up with. This is gonna give you really, really, really solid bite on whatever you're wearing it with. So if I wanted to, I could put the washers. I guess I'll might as well just show you guys what that looks like real quick. So if I put a washer in, this is just going to help me grip the clip in place. Okay. And then we get this other washer, move this one out of the way. And then we kind of want to sandwich this one in here. Find those threads. And now we're in. So again, you can see that this is going to be a really good setup. And I can also straighten this clip out a little bit. And this is gonna give you guys some really, really, really solid retention. So for example, if this band, this IWS band, which is out of the material right now, if I use this as the material that I'm working on my jeans, so say this bottom lip is your yoga pants, shorts, or your jeans, what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna put this behind my pants Okay, this holster part's gonna go behind my pants. I'm gonna lift up on the clips just a little bit until I ride this all the way down. Now I'm gonna hear that clip snap into place. I'm not sure if you guys heard either one of those, but let me try to do it one more time. You should hear a click. Now, you can see how that, that cloth grabber is behind the material. There's no way that this thing's going anywhere. If this was my actual pants and I pull up on this thing, I am secure. And you can see that my ride height is right about that, which isn't too bad. A little bit deeper, so I have a little bit to grab onto, which if, again, if you're trying to reduce your signature, isn't a bad thing. So that's pretty much your setup, guys. If you wanted the dual wing, you could put one of these wings over here. You're not gonna have as much rigidity. I like two of them towards the back but it does give you some more ride height options. If you have some interesting clothing that you're wearing or a different setup, uh, you can definitely look into changing it up a little bit, but that is gonna be the main part of your adaptability. I mean, you've got a pretty solid setup with this holster at this point. Again, I'm gonna reduce the tension on this just for the sake of the video. I want you guys to get the adjustable retention to how you want it. I can take that out. It seamlessly, integrate, seamlessly integrates with the XL, and I'm pretty much off and running. And there is your full setup. And if you ended up running IWS, you can always take these off with the simple uh, four screws, taking all that off, and all you do is buy the holster tab kit. There's different tabs in there for different scenarios. And then this just goes right into your IWS system, and it's literally that easy when your pant, you're getting your pants on and now it is anchored in. You can see one of the other 365 holsters here. And that's pretty much the 365 holster setup. If you guys have any more questions or you wanna see other videos, you can send in a request to info at dynamisalliance.com and we'll try to get back to you guys as quick as we possibly can. But I wanted to get that out to you guys so you at least had a basic understanding of how to set this holster up. Go check everything else out at crusheverything.com. Any more questions or go watch our YouTube channel. Uh, Dom Rosso is the YouTube channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.